She is our favorite, one of our favorites, Jennifer Williams from St. Louis Closet Company. She's a small business guru, and she joins us once a month. Give us some insights on uh, growing your small business. Good morning, Jennifer Williams. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Before we uh, go any further, we'll give you 30 seconds, just like Paul uh, Harris does, to give you a cheap plug. However, let's talk about your son, who came in sixth out of 8,000 teams for the car. Yes, John Burroughs School Super Mileage Vehicle Club. They competed at an international competition with Shell Oil Company in Detroit. Yes. They had to design and build a car that gets good fuel mileage. Right. Um, they came in sixth place in the diesel engine category, and they their best race was 218 miles per gallon. And, and and also, what were you telling me about the safety inspections? Well, part of getting qualified to actually race in Detroit is you have to go through 20 stations of both safety and technical inspections mm -hmm. with actual Shell employees. Well, my son's team, and my son is the one who primarily designed and built the car, so he was the guy who followed the car through the technical inspections. Um, they Their car passed the quickest and the fastest they were the first car to qualify for the actual races wow it was a really big deal i would expect nothing less but congratulations of course. Thank you. it was really exciting and he's already working right now on designing a car for next year oh my goodness so his goal is to double and get 500 miles a gallon so that's crazy he's a good man all right yeah. let's talk uh let's wow. talk uh the three favorite online marketing tools from jennifer williams well, you know, time and time again, everybody everybody wants to know what's the secret? What's Where do we spend our marketing dollars? Mm. And advertising is so hard. There's so many choices. And online opportunities right now are endless. Mm -hmm. And you don't really know where to put your money, what works, what doesn't. Mm -hmm. But what we are doing right now, and I'm really excited about not only the results, but the cost or lack of cost, um, are these three things. The first one is Google pay per click. You know that when you Google a business or Google a topic, there's always those top three mm -hmm. people ads, ads that right. come up and they say they're an ad. Mm -hmm. um, and then everybody below that comes up as an organic search. So you wanna come up on the first page. If somebody types in your company name, mm -hmm. you wanna come up on the first page under organic search, but you really wanna be in that top three. Mm -hmm. So you pay to be there mm -hmm. and you don't pay unless someone actually clicks on it. Right. So if they click on it, it goes directly to your website. So I think it's important to be there because I really believe that almost everybody Googles everything right. anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I think the Google pay per click is huge. We are also using advertising with Google AdWords and Google remarketing, which is, have you ever noticed if you let's say you go to St. Louis Closet Company's website mm -hmm. and you look at a few things, and then two or three days later you'll be on your Facebook page, yes. And St. Louis Closet Company if will have it, like an it, ad <laughs> in the middle of your Facebook page, and you're like, "Wow, this is Are they this is scary." You? It follows you all around the internet. Yes. It follows you around. That's called remarketing or retargeting. So the Google, the way Google works, and I don't know how Google works, but they know what you've searched for. So as a business, I want to keep in front of those people because they were interested in enough right. to go to my website. So I want them to continue to see my ads. So we're doing that. And the great thing about it, Google Analytics, I can at any day and any time know exactly what ads are being looked at, which ads are getting actual clicks. Mm -hmm. Actually, right now, the home office ads are the most clicked on ads that we are running with Google right now. Hmm. So what I want to do is increase the exposure of my home office ads. Mm -hmm. So I just think that it's a great way to get out there and you set your own budget. You decide, do we want to spend $100 a month right. or $10,000 a month? But you only pay if they click through. All right. Second one, content marketing. We can only talk about our company so much, right? We have to give the consumers something more. Right. I mean, you can you're wearing the WD Quinn, you know, right. saw blade shirt today. Well, they can only tell you about saw blades. But what if they started writing articles on their website about, you know, how often to sharpen your saw blades right. or, or cleaning your blades, cleaning or, your right. blades or cleaning your saw and your equipment or what type of wood cuts better. So give the customer more. Have your website updated often. And in our blog, I try to write stories weekly about how to. Maybe how organization will help sell a house better. Right. 
um, things give people information more than just this is who we are and what we do. Mm -hmm. But I want to make your life better by giving you more. So content mm -hmm. marketing. And then finally, emailed newsletters. And we still do printed and mailed newsletters. But it just hit me this week because we're getting ready to print one. I have a summer newsletter. Mm -hmm. We emailed it out last week to 20,000 people. It costs $250. Right. The exact same 20,000 people are going to get a hard copy printed and mailed newsletter within the next two or three weeks. It costs $4,000 for me to have it actually printed. And it costs $5,080 in postage to mail it. That doesn't include the design time right. and the time that I have to pay my employees to put the labels on the newsletters and drive them to the post office. So you're looking at $250 versus 10,000 to get in front of the same 20,000 people. Mm -hmm. uh, all very interesting. We can go to wow. 5850, right, David? Or are we out of time? I always forget this at this time. Um, we're out. We're out. Jennifer okay. Williams, St. Louis Closet Company, St. Louis Closet Co. Com. Great stuff today. Thank you. Really? 857 KTRS. All right. So last week.